I have never seen another one quite like it. It will always be my favorite, and I hope it becomes one of your favorites as well. Let's start Grandma Opal's apple pie by peeling eight Granny Smith apples. Use any method or gizmo that works for you. Now core them and thinly slice them. Set the apples aside. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Now in a saucepan, melt half a cup of unsalted butter. Stir in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and cook that together for a minute or so. Then, stir in half a cup of white sugar, and half a cup of packed brown sugar, with a quarter cup of water. Bring this mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat. Simmer for five minutes before removing it from the heat. You'll need a recipe to make a nine inch double crust pie. For ease, you can simply buy a refrigerated ready to bake pie crust or pastry sheets. Now, place the bottom of your pie crust into a nine inch pie pan. Mound the sliced apples into the crust. Next, roll out the top crust so it will overhang by about half an inch. Cut the top into one inch strips. Alternately layer and weave the strips to create a little latticework top crust. Seal and crimp the edges. And then gently pour the butter and sugar mixture over the crust. Pour gently and slowly so that the butter and sugar mixture seeps into the crust without running off. Bake the pie for 15 minutes in the preheated 425 degree oven. Then reduce the oven temperature to 350 degrees and continue baking it for another 35 to 45 minutes. Serve Grandma Opal's apple